Shabbat Shalom. In this week's parasha, we read about the king of Balak, who employs the non-Jewish prophet Bilam to come and curse the Jewish people. The Jewish people had been successful in a number of their battles, defeating the two giants, Sichon and Og, and their, and their armies. Moab was, was frightened that they would be next. Balak employs Bilam to come and curse the Jewish people. But instead of cursing the Jewish people, he ends up blessing them. In the story, we have one of the most fascinating uh, events. Bilam is traveling to, uh, to Balak, and an angel comes to stop him. Balak, Bilam takes a stick and hits the donkey. Three times he hits the donkey. And on the third time, the donkey opens his mouth and says to Bilam, What are you doing? Have I not been so faithful to you all this time while we've traveled together? I've never done anything wrong to you. Why are you hitting me now? Bilam says, because you're not listening to me. You're not following my direction. And Bilam, uh, the donkey says to Bilam, <clears throat> look over there. And lo and behold, there is an angel with a sword drawn, ready to kill Bilam. Bilam panics and says to, and says to the angel, what have I done? Bilam said, the, the angel says to him, don't worry. Whatever God puts in your mouth, that is what you will have to say. I'm stunned by the story. How can it be? That there's a talking donkey and Bilam's reaction is, who do you think you are? In the years gone by, we, uh, we didn't have talking cars, right? Besides now the, the famous show Knight Rider. But imagine you get in your car, you're driving down the road and all of a sudden, instead of Siri talking to you, turn left, turn right, it starts having a conversation. Good morning, Rabbi. How are you? By the way, the, we have a problem coming down the track. There is an accident. Now, today's generation, we know that's not a problem because we've got uh, ways and we've got all and, and Google Maps to tell us the ways and, and the car talk to us. But if you think back to 20 years ago, that certainly wasn't the case. And if someone from the future gets into, from the past will get into our car, they would be absolutely shocked. Where is that sound coming from? Where is this person talking to me from? How can the car be talking? Oh my gosh, the car, the car is possessed. It's a, it's a, but Bilam, talking donkey, just goes as if he was talking to a friend. And this is one of the great tragedies of the character of Bilam. Bilam professed himself to be the prophet of the nations, the one who could see uh, the, the future, who had an insight into godliness and spirituality, and he could see everything, he knew everything. But right in front of his eyes was a clear miracle, and he totally missed it. And before we think to ourselves and laugh at, and laugh and mock at Gerd Bilam, we need to think about our lives. That there are many times in our lives when we are give, being given messages and we just miss it completely. Listening to the messages is, some, is one of the most important character traits that we need to work on. Bilam was set to curse the Jewish people. His hatred consumed him, and he was not willing to listen to anyone. Even when the donkey, a donkey, tries to intervene, he is completely oblivious. How many other people do we know require an intervention? The smoker, the drug addict, the alcoholic. And a friend comes up and says, what are you doing? Listen to what's going on. See that there's an angel with a sword near the air and it wants to kill you for what you've done. And not only do you not see the uh, this, this angel with a uh, sword, you don't even pay attention to the messenger and the message. Parashat Balak, te, uh, Balak teaches us to listen to the message. Shabbat Shalom.